So, welcome to this new video. Here we are at Sha Tin in Hong Kong by the 10,000 Buddhas Monastery. There are literally tens of thousands of Buddhas here all around you. And yeah, we're going up the mountain to visit some nice Buddhist temples and going to shoot some nice videos for you. So welcome, we're here at the top of the mountain after a one hour walk and I'm here with uh, the head instructor of my Amsterdam headquarters. We're going to show you or teach you actually today uh, a leg technique, uh, actually a kicking defense technique. So the attack is going to be a front kick. So there are many kind of front kicks, yeah, but the most common one is going to be the snap kick to the front. So don't move, huh? not going to hit him. So this one, now just a common uh, kick to the front. So for the martial artists out there, if you do it, normally the toes are put backward and you hit with the ball of your foot so that you don't break uh, your toes. So the karate people are very familiar with it. It's called magi, yeah? They go like this. So, to defend this attack, many kind of possibilities. I can defend with uh, hand techniques as well as leg techniques. But uh, there is a saying in Wing Chun, right? You know, the legs should defend the legs and the arms should be done with arms. So most common is leg against leg. Now I can do it from this position, eh? or I can do it just from a neutral position. So I make it as free as possible now and it's close to an actual street situation. So I would just be standing in a neutral position and slowly this kick would launch to the groin area. So what I will do normally as a first thing is just destroy his kneecap yeah? with a side kick but not turn my whole body for the side kick I stay right or front yeah? so I do it very slow I don't want to damage his knee when he comes boom just go on the knee and go in but in the speed it can happen that the guy is already well underway and we meet each other or I miss the target then my leg is going to be transformed into a bunger. So, or like this with the shin to destroy the knee, you know, the weak spot. Or my foot is already uh, closer to the groin area. Same thing for the other leg. If the other leg will kick, my shin will destroy the area where the knee, or my foot will be a little bit closer even and already hit even the groin. So, this is, this is the idea. So it's an attacking motion. So that will not happen that when he does a fake movement, that my leg is like that. And he can kick me with another kicking combination. When my opponent makes a fake movement, actually my uh, leg will perform an attacking uh, uh, kick by itself. So let's, let's see. Eh? So he's kicking me, boom, going in again. Okay. He's kicking me a little bit harder. I know it's going to hurt a little bit. Yeah, a little bit harder. He's kicking me, boom. And I'm in. Yeah, one more time. He's kicking me, boom. And I'm in. The moment I'm close again, just hit him here on the jaw and perform my basic chain punch. You knock him down. Yeah, so that concludes the bungar technique. 